We must, therefore, purge ourselves of hatred. Gandhi from the Quit India speech, August 9th, 1942. This was, of course, a critical and extremely uh, portentous moment in the history of the freedom struggle. What he's saying is absolutely vintage Gandhi that we have to be doing this without hatred. Hatred would injure our spirits and definitely detract from the uh, success of the movement. And I want to say that Gandhi is not the first person in history to recognize this. In the American Revolution, there were even some that said, in a struggle so grand, hatred would be out of place. It's not the exact language, but it was exactly the same sentiment. So this is a universal law. that It's amazing not only how much we can achieve without anger, without hatred, but that it's so much more than ever we could possibly hope to achieve when actuated by anger. And that goes also for the long-term consequences. Ending up being friends with your opponent is an infinitely more constructive place to end up when you're finished with the struggle. 